Would you like to be able to create an ebook quickly with a free AI? Well, stick around to the end because we're about to find out how. Hey, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, let's go check it out. Now here we are at a place called Hyperrotor. Now Hyperrotor is only the new kid on the block, but it's completely free, which is really awesome. Now you can upgrade if you want to upgrade. If you want to, if you find that this is perhaps just a little bit not formal enough for you or not advanced enough for you in its writing ability, then you can upgrade and get a more advanced writing ability. But I find that this is actually quite good on the free version. So, I mean, as I said, it is very basic English, but if you're creating an ebook, you don't really need to have anything overly complicated. Unless, of course, you are in an industry which requires you to have like jargon and so forth, where you are required to come up with more complicated concepts and more complicated ideas. But if you're only just writing an ebook for marketing and so forth, the simpler, the better. All right, so let's have a look around here. We're currently on the dashboard section right now. And to be able to get started, really, you've got a subscription for it if you want to, meaning you sign up. You've got your personal database where you can put documents in there where you want it to be able to apply it. Now, this also will give you a option to be able to, do, to download a extension for your Chrome browser. You also have a bit of a scratch pad too, which you can type in, or you can also give feedback and leave live support. So it's a really simple idea. All you really need to do is click on new document. Now that'll open up this one here. It'll always show you this. Now when this usually gives you prompts as you're typing, which really speeds up the process of what you're trying to do. Now this here says, if it gives you a prediction, it might give you a sentence and so forth that it's going to predict for you. If you like what it says, you can then hit the tab button, which will then select all of it. Or you can collect or you can just tip the arrow buttons on your keyboard, which will then just select individual words as you go through. Then you can also have a look at the next one. You can ask the AI for help generating a paragraph to get started or wherever you want, if you get stuck. And to rewrite, to make your writing even better, just highlight a sentence. Now, this is really cool. This is a really cool concept of what they do here. So let's just click off there for one minute. Now over here you've got your you got your sentence and you have your paragraph. Now over here is where you do your prompting. Now this one here is you, I usually like to prompt about you know two or three hundred words, but you watch this. I'm just going to quickly type something about private labor rights. Private labor rights are a there you go. It says a way to make money online by selling. Let's have a look. We'll hit tab on that products you own and have the license to be able to alter. Okay, so I'm also gonna change this up a little bit because it's not quite right that someone else has created. There we go. All right, it's because I'm already quite aware of the concept in the, in the sentences, so. Okay, private labor rights are a way to make money by selling products you own, get rid of that, that someone else has created and you have the right, you have the license to be able to alter it. Okay, so now let's create it. Now what we're going to do, this actually has a really good way of creating long form content. Now people go, oh, yeah, but it only gives you paragraphs. But what it does do, what I like to do in this particular case is I grab all of this, what I've pre-written, and I place that straight into here. I go control V and then hit down. Now what I can do is go through here, have a read. Your own brand is clothing or shoes with, you. okay, no, that's not cool. Maybe I need to rewrite this because I want to be able to make sure it's about eBooks. Private label rights eBooks are what we're going to be focusing on to talk about today. Okay, cool. All right. So now let's rewrite this. 
Now it's going to rewrite it for us. As you can see, it's thinking. Then once it's done that, you can now, I'm just going to get rid of all of that. And then once it's finished, it will give us another concept. It will actually work out the concept a bit better and then rewrite it in a much more appropriate manner. So let's copy that. Control V. Now let's go back down because we want to be able to continue the concept and the ideas. Okay, so we can click on this plus sign just here and that will add that to this section just here. Now you can also, private labor right, ebooks will give your readers the exact experience they want. I don't particularly like that, I'll rechange that. The best selling, let's go back up here, you could you could create an ebook. Okay, the best selling private labor rights title currently is Amazon Private Labor Rights Bible. Um, okay, I'll have to research that and see if that's true. But I'm going to add it just in case. This article will focus on the advantages of selling private labor rights ebooks. So that works out to be a bit of a conclusion. So as you look through here, that has literally just created a little bit of a long form content for you. And as you scroll down, you can just space it out. And as you can see, there's a few paragraphs there. And that took me hardly any time at all. So let's now start putting in a point or two. So right here, this could be like the introduction, if you wish to. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to just ty start typing and say private Labor rights, PLR, yeah, it'll do. Private labor rights, PLR, can be repurposed to create other products. For example, I was going to say, for example, videos, video courses, blog posts, and articles. Okay, so that'll do. Let's, let's have a look and see what it's going to PLR is a way to monetize. All right, let's have a look here. PLR is a way to monetize your content by adding links into the text. Little loop, hit full stop, and we are now going to have it rewrite for us. Okay, as it's thinking, private labor rights or PLR are a way to make money by selling a product that you have created and have the license to be able to alter. For example, okay, so this is pretty good. For example, you could create an ebook and add links into the text. Of the, okay, that, that says exactly what I just wanted to say. Okay, let's go down here. The best way to create private labor rights content is to create an ebook and audio book. You can also create video courses, blog posts. That's good as well. We can add that. And private labor rights are a way to make money by selling the products that someone else has created. There, way to repurpose your content. Okay, that's good. We'll add that one as well. And private labor rights are a way to make extra income by selling the products that someone else has created. They allow you to alter the text, add your affiliate links, rebrand to make it extra profit. You can use PLR to create an ebook, video course, blog, post, etc. Okay, that's cool. All right, so as you can see, it's coming together quite nicely. I mean, I have to do a little bit of editing because there's some things that probably won't be quite right. But when you look at how much work I've actually had to do, it's not a lot. And when you consider that's only taken me, what, a couple of minutes? Five minutes max. And I've written an entire page of information. Now let's add a point here. So let's go back here. All right, so what we're going to do it's a great idea to change the text so as you can make it unique to you. I'm just going to actually, what I want to do is put them, I'm actually going to be making this a point. So I'm going to go one point and then go space there. Okay, so let's now have this rewrite for us. I meant to say text. Let's now change that. And we have that rewrite for us. I'm just going to have that scene. I made a mistake that I didn't pick up on sooner. And we will have a quick look and see what it comes up with next. It you don't have to upgrade, but you can if you wish to. I am thinking of doing so actually. And I'll have a look at the, the price shortly. It's a great idea to change the text so you can, okay. 
It's very easy to change the text so you can make it unique to you. I've already said that. Okay. Done there. Private labor rights, also known as. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have this one. And then maybe this one. Oops, so easy. I don't want that one. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. We'll text that, type that in there. All right, so let's go back over here. Okay, so as you can see, it's creating this content really, really well. I'm just going to try and see if I can get it to go back down and go a little bit more to the left if I'm able to. No, it's not letting me. Okay, I'm going to shrink the screen down a little bit so we can see it better. That's better. Now, now, you also have the option, if you don't like something, you can say, for example, you could even take this idea and create several guides. And let's have a look at that part just there. Highlight over the top of it. And you now have the chance where you can actually expand on this if you wish to. Or if you want to shorten it, you can do that. Or if you want to make it casual or more formal. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted to do a YouTube script. You can actually make this a lot more casual because you want to be able to sound more natural when you talk. So you can also do this. And by hitting that, You'll be able to see what it comes up with. And then when it gives you some ideas, you can take the idea and create several guides. So, okay, you can do that. You can even take the idea and create several guides. Okay. So let's go to that one, and that'll do. I didn't give it much of a challenge just then. But let's go here. And we can now make it casual. Once you have several of these guides, you can sell them individually or in a bundle. One single guide can be sold individually or in a bundle. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think, yeah. One single guide can be sold individually or as a bundle. I think once you have several of these guides, you can sell them individually. or in a I think that one will do. So as you can see, it changes it up. And you can make it casual or formal if you wish to. Now let's have a look and see if we can make something a bit more formal. We'll see if we can make that a bit more formal and just see what it comes up with. Once you have several of these guides, you can sell them individually, individually or in a bundle. Once you have several of these guides, you can promote them in a bundle form. Okay. Once you have several of these guides, you can sell them individually or in a bundle. Okay. I, I don't particularly want to change it, so I'm just going to keep it as is. All right, so this is called Hyperite. Now let's have a look at the pricing. Let's go back over here to Hyperite. Let's go dashboard. And let's have a look at subscriptions. So over here, you have $14.99 a month. And it's, it's, that's your premium one. And it gives you advanced AI, more logical. And it gives you unlimited generations, like these ones are unlimited generations as well. And also, too, if you've got this one here, $54.99, best logic, improved AI memory, and unlimited generations. So, and over here, you also have another one, which you then have to get a custom user, which allows you to do a fair bit more. Custom pricing, custom shared AI, shared data, across, and, and so forth. So I would suggest, I'm thinking of actually doing this one because I want to be able to get more advanced AI because I think this is pretty good. And I can always stop paying if I get tired of it. If I find it's not doing me anything, I can always go back to the free version. So this is called Hyperwriter AI. Thank you so much for watching. Now, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And over here, is an image of my head and if you click on that you'll be able to subscribe all right guys thank you so so much for watching and bye for now